Guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add additional hardware control points. Uh, what we are doing is adding additional points due to some modifications to a very large air handler. So the first thing is to go to the output section, right click and select new. And it's going to give you this dialog box to where you can filter down to the type of point that you need. You can filter it by signal, by name, and so on. Uh, so what we're doing here, we have added a remote I.O. to a very large unit and have modified the unit, switching it from pneumatic actuators to an electronic actuator. So we've had to do quite a bit of work between adding power supplies and things like that, as well as remote I.O. that are going to be used to drive the additional actuators. So we've got to add the programming to support that. Uh, this is just a brief demonstration of one aspect of this overall project. So what we're doing here is we're adding the two control points, the two additional points, and we need to tie those to the logic that already exists for controlling the return air dampers on this unit. So I'm going to simply highlight the uh, original. Uh, you can see here I've got the two that have been added, and now I'm going to highlight one of the original points to where I can find exactly which logic block and which point controls them. So once I highlight that, it's going to give me the connections tab. You know, I can see it down here below. And then when I select the logic block, it's going to put a ribbon around it. It's going to give me the options here that I need. And here is where I'm going to make my connections. I'm simply going to go to where the original logic point is connected to the existing points. And then I'm going to make a new connection. Okay. I'm not going to be changing a connection. I'm going to make a new connection just like this and what it will do is it will basically uh, give me a pop-up dialog box to where I can select those hardware points. Once I have this I simply drill down to those new points that I created uh, select OK and then I'm going to do it again because there again it is the same logic that's going to be controlling these outputs because I want these dampers to follow what the other original set will be doing. Okay, So again highlighting that making the connection, drilling down to that second point, and then adding it in as well. And what this is, again, changing the hardware, the physical modifications that we've done to this machine, it is much easier to run a communication cable and a remote I.O. to drive these new actuators. Okay, this is a large project, and this is just one example of it. But now what I have to do is to tie those to a physical output, and I do that under the Define Hardware tab, Point Assignments Options. And here is all of the inputs and outputs for my controller. You can see on the left, these are the two new outputs that I created in the left panel. And this is where I want to add the first one down here where I've highlighted. Uh, but what happens with CCT, unfortunately, is it just populates it wherever it wants to. When I highlight one of those points and pull it over and tie it to a physical point, CCT unfortunately just puts it wherever it wants. So what I have to do is I have to get that point from wherever CCT dropped it and then drag it down to where I actually need it. Again, this is a remote I.O. Uh, and I have to have it exactly in a specific point. So I do the first one and then go back and get the second one because it'll do it the same way. Uh, like I say, guys, this is a uh, just one glimpse of a much larger project that we've had to do. Uh, guys, while we're here, while I'm adding this in, I would appreciate it if you would like, share, and subscribe to my channel, share the video and all that fun stuff, and leave me any comments and questions down below. It kind of helps to grow the channel. Also check out any of the links down below this video as well. Those are affiliate links and it helps to support what we do here. Uh, now that I've got my second point, I'm dragging it down to the output, the physical point where I need it to be uh, because I need this. Uh, again, it's much easier to run a communication cable than it is a whole bunch of physical control cables, uh, which you know, with the points count and things like that, we would have had to have added additional I.O. as well, uh, even if we didn't do uh, this. So now that I've got those added, what you want to do, I want to make sure that I save a copy of my program. Uh, always save a copy of the original before you go in and start modifying things, because if something were to happen uh, and you can't go back to your original program, uh, you could have your equipment down for much longer than necessary. Again, this was a air handler that I could only have down for a brief period of time and uh, because it's literally the only unit that serves an entire building. So I had to get it done quickly. 
okay, this is something that we have been doing as, over a period of time, and we're trying to minimize the downtime as much as possible. Uh, again, guys, this is just a brief overview of how you can add those things into your system. Okay. If you have any questions, I would appreciate it, guys, if you would leave those down below, as I'd mentioned earlier. And, guys, thanks for watching. Check out all of the rest of the videos on my channel. Uh, I do have an entire playlist using CCT as well as Medicis and other things. So go down to my channel and check those out. It's kind of give you guys a little bit of help, a little bit more information when working with this software. Guys, thanks for watching. I'd appreciate it. As I mentioned, subscribe. Uh, and uh, we will talk to you next time.